Our game is complete. Let's build a web player and deploy that web player onto the web. Open the Build Settings window. The Build Settings has two main sections. The bottom part for setting the build target and customizing details for the build, and the upper part for selecting the scenes to build into the game. We do not need to include every scene in our project when we build our game. We only need to select the scenes we want. We can either drag the scenes we want from our project view and drop them into the upper window, or we can click the Add Current button to add the current open scene to the build window. As a side note, we can build a game with no scenes in the Scenes to Build window. If we do this, Unity will temporarily use the current open scene when building. Once we have selected the scenes to build, it is always good practice to check our player settings before we actually build the game. For more information on player settings, please see the information linked below. When we are satisfied with our player settings, we can return to the Build Settings window and choose Build. Unity will open a dialog box prompting us for a name and location for our new build. I like to keep the builds associated with the project. So let's create a new folder to hold our build. We will create this folder in the root of our project alongside the Assets Library and other default folders. It is important to note that this new folder should not be placed inside any of the default folders. Create a new folder in our project and call it Builds. Save the folder. With the Builds folder selected, let's name our build space underscore shooter. We use the underscore here in the name as we will be deploying to the web. And this name will be part of the web address or URL for the game. Spaces are not recommended in a web address or URL, so we should use an underscore, dash, or other web-friendly character instead of spaces here when we are creating a web build. It should be noted that we could, if we chose to, change the name of the HTML file to index.html if appropriate, to shorten the length of the URL. When we have named our build, select Save. Unity will now build our player. And when the build is done, Unity will open the target folder, in this case our builds folder, revealing the built game. We have built a web player. Open the Space Shooter folder. The web player comes in two parts, a Unity 3D file, which contains the data, and an HTML file which describes the page that will play the game data in a window. If we look at the size of these two files, we can see that the Unity 3D file is the larger of the two as it contains the game data. If we select and open the HTML file, our operating system will load the HTML file into our default browser. And the game will play in the web page. We are playing this game locally. To play this game globally, we need to upload it to a web host of some sort. As an example, I am going to upload this via an FTP client to an existing website. Open an FTP client, select a destination, and upload both the HTML and data files into the same directory. In this case, for ease, I am going to upload the entire folder containing both files. When the files are uploaded, open a browser and use the URL to open a new web page. The data will load from the web, and we're playing the game globally. Anyone anywhere in the world with access to the internet can play our game. Fantastic! Thank you for taking these assignments, following along, and making this game. Please check out the Learn section of Unity's website for more information, tutorials, assignments, and learning material.